This video is sponsored by Serverless 360. More about them at the end. You're holding a ticking time bomb and you don't even know it. Azure AD Connect version one is about to blow up and you need to move to version two before August 31st, 2022. So why is it about to blow up? Well, the answer is simple. It's SQL's fault. Oh no, he didn't. Azure AD Connect runs on SQL Server 2012 local database. And that version is going out of support at the end of August. And the new Azure AD Connect V2 is going to run on SQL Server 2019 local database. But you should also know that SQL 2019 requires Windows Server 2016 or newer to work. So if you have an older OS, hang in with me and I'll tell you how you can still make this upgrade happen in just a minute. Now it's not all SQL's fault. We also need to give the stink eye to TLS 1.1. And that's been superseded by TLS 1.2 for increased security. And then of course, there's Active Directory authentication libraries. And that's being deprecated and replaced by the MSAL libraries, which is actually great for all of you because that means you'll get faster performance and wider compatibility. Now, of course, I'm only joking here. Nobody's really at fault. New technologies come out with more benefits and security than the older stuff. And that's the main reason for this upgrade, so that you can run faster, better, and more secure. And for those of you who need to make a business case for your management before you can do an upgrade like this, I've got links down in the description section for all of the relevant documentation to make that a breeze. Now it's always a best practice before you do an upgrade like this to back up your configuration so you don't lose everything. So open Azure AD Connect, click the Configure button, and then click on the View and Export Configuration. Click Next, and then click on that Export button right there. Choose a safe place to store that file, and then exit the tool. Now this next one shouldn't impact most of you, but if you start the upgrade process and you see this error, that means you need to get TLS 1.2. And we can fix that in just a second with some PowerShell right off of the Azure Docs. Just click the copy button right over there and then paste it into PowerShell, run it, and then reboot and you're good to go. So let's talk about upgrade options. You have two different ways that you can do this. An in-place upgrade, or you can do something called a swing migration. In-place upgrades are pretty straightforward. And this is gonna be the path for you if you only have a single connect server. First, you'll download the latest version of the V2 client, run that installer, click the upgrade button, and then go ahead and walk through the wizard. Provide your Azure AD global admin credentials, you're off to the races. Once the upgrade is done, you'll wanna open programs and features, and then find SQL 2012 command line and the local DB and remove them. And that's it, it's super easy. Now let's talk for a second about the swing migration. This is where you have two or more Connect servers. Now Azure AD Connect only can have one active server at a time. So any other Connect servers that you have run in staging mode. And this gives you some other options. Remember I said earlier that if you had an unsupported OS, there's still a way to do the upgrade? Well, this is it. You can build a new VM right next to the existing Connect server with the latest operating system, then download the Azure AD Connect V2 tool and import the configuration that you exported earlier. And in just a few minutes, you're done. Now, another way to swing is when you already have an active and a staging server and they're on a supported operating system. Start the upgrade on the staging server first, download and run the tool through the upgrade process, and once that's complete, the V2 should now become your active server. And then you can upgrade the rest of your Connect boxes. Now having a staging server also gives you additional flexibility for testing different configurations, disaster recovery plans, and making future upgrades a breeze, even if you need to do it over a few days. Now, no matter which path you choose, you'll want to run a full sync once you're done and just verify that everything is working correctly. So now that you've done the upgrade, there are two things that you should know. First is that there are no new features in V2 yet. The main purpose of the V2 upgrade today is to get to those more modern underlying technologies like SQL 2019, the MSAL libraries, and TLS 1.2. The other thing to note is that V1 had an auto-updater ability. And as of this recording, V2 does not. 
So you'll need to check back with this doc to see when new versions come out so that you can get those downloaded and installed. And my guess is that the auto updater will be added back in the future. And if you wanna know when that happens, click the notification bell and I'll let you know when it's ready. Now, the second thing that you must know about is the next generation tool for syncing into Azure AD, which I'll tell you about right after this message from our sponsor. The cloud can be a complex place, but Serverless 360 is trusted by many of the world's leading organizations to remove application blind spots and resolve your problems rapidly. You can instantly visualize, monitor, and fix any issues in your cloud apps, and then achieve end-to-end -end tracking of your business process flows, and Serverless 360 will save you time by auto-generating your documentation, turning your Azure subscription data into actionable insights for you usage, security, and cost. Try Serverless 360 free for 15 days, or you can book a demo using the links in the resource section under the video. This next generation syncing tool is available now, kinda. So click this video over here to learn all about it and how it's going to work with Azure AD Connect V2. Happy learning.